Father Alex Balatbat, I was assigned by our bishop here as the administrator of the Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. The Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House is located inside the St. Michael compound, St. Michael Retreat House, San Jose Extension, San Isidro Antipolo City. sa inyong lahat. The Synod frequently insisted on the need for a prayerful approach to the sacred text as fundamental element in the spiritual life of every believer in the various ministries and states in life with particular reference to Lectio Divina. Ang ibig kong mangyari ay palalimin ang spirituality ng mga clergy at laity sa Diocese of Antipolo. Sabi nga ni St. Jerome, Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Kaya nga pupunta sa inyong mga parokya ang mga laity na may kasamang mga pare upang ituro unang-una sa inyong Paris Pastoral Council, ang pamamaraan ng Lectio Divina, ituturo nila sa iba't ibang mga organization at ministries. At sana makaabot hanggang sa periperis ng inyong parokya upang dumating ng araw lahat na tayo gagawa nito. Isang mapagpalang buhay para sa ating lahat. Buhay na pinagpala na galing sa kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Nilikha niya ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita. At higit sa kapangyarihan ng salitang lumikha, ang salita ay naging tao at nakipanayam sa atin. 
niyakap niya ang ating pagkatao. At sa pagyakap niya sa ating pagkatao, nabigyan niya tayo ng pagkakataong yakapin ang Diyos. Ang Leksyo Divina sa Kapangyarihan ng Banal na Spiritu, hinahayaan niya tayo na ang layunin ay makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ayon sa mismong pananaw ng Diyos. Let this be our prayer. Lord, allow me to see the way you see. Allow me to know the way you know. Allow me to understand the way you understand. Allow the word of Jesus to transform us into the very heart of the Lord. Puso ni Jesus, pag-iisip ni Jesus, pananaw ni Jesus. Ito ang nilalayon ng pagdiriwang ng Leksyo Divina. Mayroon tayong apat na pamamaraan na makatutulong sa pagdiriwang ng Leksyo Divina. Sa Leksyo Divina, ang Diyos ang magtuturo ng lahat. Leksyo, ano ang sinasabi ng pagbasa? Basahin ng bukas ang puso, bigyang pansin ang kapaligirang nakasaad sa kwento, ang mga taong nakasangkot, mga salitang ginamit, ang daloy ng kwento. Pasukin ang kwento. Meditatio. Ano ang sinasabi ng Ibanghelyo sa atin? May mensahe bang katulad ng sa ating kwento sa buhay? Maaaring sunda ng pangyayari na saan tayo dito? Sino ka dito? Habang nagsasalita si Jesus, ano ang iyong naririnig? Dito papasok ang karanasan ng pagtatagpo ng puso ng tao at ng kalooban ng Diyos. Oracho, panalangin. Sa mga narinig natin sinabi ng Diyos, ano ang tugon natin sa Diyos? Inaanyayahan tayong itaas natin ang ating kalooban sa Kanya, ang tugon sa tawag ng Diyos, ang tugon sa Kanyang sinasabi, ang tugon sa Kanyang salita. Ang panalangin ito, mga kapatid, ay lalong magaganap na napakaganda sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Contemplatio. Sa paanong paraan binago ng pagbasa ang ating pananaw sa buhay. At itong pagtingin ito ang siyang mag-aakay sa atin sa kung anong konkretong pagkilos ang ating gagawin bilang pagtugon sa turo ng Diyos na hubuhubo sa atin. Lecture Divina invites us to have a deeper communion with God. I am the vine, you are the branches. Every time branches are connected to the vine, we will bear much fruit. Ang Lecture Divina, idinudugtong tayo ng mas malalim sa puso ng Diyos. Kung saan ang kalooban ng Diyos, ang siya rin nating nagiging kalooban. Ano nga ba ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ang gumawa ng mabuti, ang magmahal, ang maglingkod, isa buhay kung ano ang kanyang niluloob. Ito ang layunin ng Leksyo Divino. I've been serving God for almost 40 years now. And if I forget my why, why I do what I do, why I serve, why I preach, why I get up in the morning, everything is gone. And the only way For me to rediscover and embrace my why is by getting into the Word, by listening to His voice through Scripture and in the depths of my heart. Go forth and serve God. Be His light in the world by allowing His light to shine every day through Lectio Divina.
Good morning. Today is Saturday of 26th week in Ordinary Time and our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balatbat. the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. On this first Saturday of October, we remember our brothers and sisters who are begging for healing. We also pray for the healing in our country, peace in our country, and the whole world. And in a very special way, we pray for the speedy recovery, for the gift of strength, for peace and wisdom as they face their sufferings and pain, especially Orlando and Omar Ortega. We also pray for the healing and peace of Rey Padiernos. We pray for the special intention of Maria Bibiana Ortega and family, Red and Portia Cruz, Arnold and May Carandang, Samuel Martires, Nori and Anselm Balatbat, Regis Romero II and family, Freddy and Noemi Aguilar, Stephen and Lani David, Abel and Josdada Pangilinan, Hill and Ani Haveliana and family. We pray for the Desource Company, the Eventic Manila Company. We pray for all the souls in Purgatory, especially Anselmo Balatbat, Mercedes Malang, Catalina Torla, Gregoria Gumabon, Modesta Pangan, Crisanta Malonso, Catalina Magat, Alan Tenko, Benny De Mesa, Benjo De Mesa, Vio and Marina Shaw, Juan Francisco Cruz, Alan Tenko, Lito Tenko, Father Larry Sarmiento, Father Larry Faraon, Father Fernando Suarez, Father Joel Victorino, Father Rico Hilario, Father Nomer de Lumen, Father Sherwin Bulaon, Monsignor Ted Perez, Bishop Manuel Sobrevinas, Archbishop Oscar Cruz, Jaime Cardinal Sin. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God our Creator, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God our Savior, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. God, our destiny, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us, 
Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to, joy, to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. I have dealt with great things that I do not understand, things too wonderful for me which I cannot know. I, I had heard of you by word of mouth, but now my eye has seen you. Therefore, I disown what I have said and repent in dust and ashes. Thus the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his earlier ones, for he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 she-asses. And he had seven sons and three daughters, of whom he called the first Jemima, the second Keziah, and the third Karen Hapuk. And all the land, no other women were as beautiful as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived a hundred and forty years. And he saw his children, his grandchildren, and even his great-grandchildren. Then Job died old and full of years. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. Lord, let your face shine on me. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Lord, let your face shine on me. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Lord, let your face shine on me. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things are serve you. Lord, let your face shine on me. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. Lord, let your face shine on me. The revelation of your word sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The seventy-two disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, 
and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have revealed You have hidden these things from the wise and the learned. You have revealed them to the little children. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is is except the Father and who the Father is except the Son. And anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Turning to the disciples in private, He said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. The 72 disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus affirmed the work of the disciples but He reminded them that that power does not come from them. They can do that because they are connected to Him. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you as long as you are connected to me. The power of connections. Sa atin, iba yung salita lang yan eh. Malakas ako kay Malakas ako sa Kanya. Yung salitang malakas ako sa iyo means I am connected to you. Without the connections, there will be no power. Ang kapangyarihan nagaganap sa connection. Kaya kung minsan naaabuso yung salitang connection, malakas ako kay mayor, malakas ako sa presidente, malakas ako kay father, kaya may nagagawa. Again, it is connection. Malakas tayo kay Lord konektado tayo kay Lord. The 72 disciples can drive out demons and they are subject to them not because of their power but because they are connected to Jesus. Sino mang nakadugtong kay Jesus may kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Sino mang nakaugnay sa Diyos, hindi masasaktan. Nothing will harm us. Sa gitna ng ating mga pinagdadaanan ngayon, kapag nahaharap tayo sa mga tanong, na kung minsan ayaw na nating sagutin. Hindi ho lahat ng tanong sinasagot. May mga maling tanong. 
pero may mga tanong din na tinatakbuhan, iniiwasan. Maging ang mga alagad sa nakaraang Ibanghelyo nang sinasabi ni Jesus, papasok ang anak ng tao sa Jerusalem, doon ay papatayin at sa ikatlong araw mabubuhay na mag-uli. Yung siya'y mamamatay. Anong sabi ng mga alagad, hindi nila nauunawaan at sila'y natatakot magtanong. Ibig sabihin, wag na lang nating pag-usapan yan. Delikadong bagay yan. Nakakatakot magtanong. Sa krisis na hinaharap natin ng COVID-19, hindi lamang ito, maraming nalilito, nangangamba. What comes next? Anong magaganap sa mundo? Hidwaan ng tao sa tao, tao sa kalikasan, hidwaan sa sarili. As if we become so helpless, hopeless, weak. And now the question is, to whom are we connected? Let's vault in. At this point, the gospel is reminding us, connect yourself to the Lord. Connect yourself to Jesus. Connect ourselves to Him. There we can draw our power. The Blessed Mother, whose memorial we celebrate today on the first Saturday, is reminding us, do whatever He tells you. That is the most powerful word of the mother habang tinitingnan ko itong binabasa ko ang mga ebanghelyo, bibihirang magsalita si Maria. Parang doon ko lang siya nakitang narinig magsalita. Walang masyadong sinasabi si Maria sa mga pagbasa. Maliban sa kanyang awit ng papuri, ang puso ko'y nagpupuri. On that wedding at Cana, that was the only time G Mary addressed her words to us. A very powerful word that up to now she is addressing that word. Do whatever He tells you. Connect to my son. Listen to my son. Obey my son. Obey my son's order. There we can draw our power. Marami tayong nakakalimutan, nakakayahan ang kakayahang idugtong ang sarili sa Diyos. Ito ang tugon sa krisis ng kasalukuyan. There was a young boy who was accompanied by his father in the mountain. And in that mountain, there is a huge stone the father said to the boy, My son, use all your strength to push that stone. And the young boy obeyed the father. Itinulak niya yung napakalaking bato. But unfortunately, the stone remained unmoved. He went back to his father. Father, I use all my strength but it is so huge, 
I cannot. Hindi ko siya kayang i-push, Lord. My, my, my father. The father said to the son, I told you, my son, use all your strength. Father, I use all my strength. And the father smiled and lovingly said to his son, My son, you did not use all your strength because you did not ask help from me. Because I, as your father, am your strength. Are you depressed? Are you sad? Do you feel that you are totally helpless? Most probably, like that boy, he did not use all his strength, for he did not even ask help from his father. Humihingi ba tayo ng tulong sa Diyos? Because God is our strength. Amen. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who shows us such love for small and humble people. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church and its leaders may not seek to impress the world with our outward splendor and power, but reach out to all as humble servants. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That those in power may not rely on force or weapons, but they may use their position for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That children may get to know God by our teachings and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those burdened by the trials of life, the poor, the sick, and the handicapped may experience God's love and care through us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who have died may enjoy everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God. 
the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever, may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith The 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, the Lady of Mercy, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in His sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive the heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stay connected to the Lord. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Father Alex Balatbat, I was assigned by our bishop here 
as the administrator of the Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. The Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House is located inside the St. Michael compound, St. Michael Retreat House, San Jose Extension, San Isidro Antipolo City. Oh, 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 oh,